The most severe downturn in recent years was triggered by the global financial crisis of 2008. Measures taken then helped companies to manage excess manpower and to invest in skills for the recovery. In a Ministry of Manpower survey carried out in 2009, three in four companies with earlier plans to retrench workers reported they would postpone or reduce the number of affected workers due to government assistance schemes such as jobs credit and the skills program for upgrading and resilience. Helped by improving external conditions, resident unemployment rate rose but did not exceed 5% throughout the global financial crisis. Our current situation and outlook are actually completely different from that in 2008. For example, uh, in the first half of 2009, retrenchments exceeded 19,000 when in a typical year, during that period, retrenchments would be about 15,000. But in the first half of 2009 alone, retrenchments were 19,000. Uh, job losses uh, estimated for the whole year, uh, some analysts came in with numbers such as 100,000. So that was the situation in 2009, in the beginning of 2009. But if you look at the situation today, actually retrenchments have not uh, picked up. And uh, if we look at the second quarter of 2019, retrenchments remained fairly low at 2,300. Total employment growth slowed, but it did not stall. Employment growth remained robust in sectors such as infocoms and information and communications, in community, social and personal services, in professional services and financial services. This suggests that while employers could be exercising greater caution in hiring, most are not laying off their existing workers. MOM together with MTI and other government agencies is monitoring the economy and the labour market closely. We are ready to step up support for companies and workers under the Adapt and Grow initiative. Workers can tap on employment assistance and programmes offered by WSG and NTUC's Employment and Employability Institute, E2I. <clears throat> These include the Career Support Programme, the Career Trial and Professional Conversion Programmes that provide wage and training support to help workers access new jobs or reskill for new opportunities. Job seekers can also consider taking up the attach and train professional conversion programs, which train the workers ahead of hiring demand. And these are available in selected sectors with strong growth potential. In addition, WSG's Careers Connect and NTUC's E2I Career Centres offer employment facilitation services such as career coaching, employability workshops, job fairs and job matching. The Task Force for Responsible Retrenchment and Employment Facilitation, which was formed in 2016, proactively reaches out to retrenched workers and provides them with timely employment support, including job matching. The Task Force will also continue to engage retrenching companies on responsible retrenchment practices.